Nationwide judicial reform, reform remains at the top of the agenda for the elite of China's Communist Party, CCTV's Tang Bo reports on the meeting of the Central Committee in Beijing. More judicial independence to be brought about by unprecedented legal reforms. The ongoing meeting of the CPC Central Committee is discussing reforms which aimed at simplifying trial procedures and, more importantly, wiping out administrative interference in the legal system. Last year, the CPC Central Committee decided to unify the management of the courts and procuratorates at and below the provincial level in personnel, financing and resource distribution. This is to prevent the courts at the municipal level or below from being influenced by the government or party committee at the same level, so as to ensure an independent judicial system. With growing legal awareness and enhanced transparency, courts in China are receiving more cases than ever. Last year, China's local courts heard more than 14 million cases, 7.4 percent more than in 2012. But complicated administrative measures and too many administrative staff have prolonged legal processes, putting huge pressure on local courts and judges. There are lots of external and unprofessional influences affecting the judicial procedure. For example, final rulings could be made in a court under influence from some government officials or high-level administrative personnel who don't have enough judicial experience. The current situation is judges don't have enough power to decide on a verdict. That is why we need to make some changes. The Supreme People's Court has issued a jurisdiction reform plan, and it's been piloted in a number of regions. And in July, Shanghai initiated a program to make judges more accountable and curb government intervention in trials by creating a clear-cut division between judicial staff and administrative personnel. Now we can see clearly the direction the reforms will be taking, one that emphasizes the administration. But what's still unclear are concrete plans that are equally important to the success of the reforms. So what is lying ahead of us right now is creating a feasible system designed to prevent administrative interference and ensure an independent judiciary. Tang Bo, CCTV, Beijing.